80 to 95 percent male. No allies in the room. We get used to being the only, because it's hard when you're alone. I was an only. I was the only woman. Out lesbians in tech. This can't be like a big thing. There can't be a lot of people. Band of lesbians. Find each other. Take the blinders off. I didn't realize how big and powerful the group was. A thousand lesbians in the Castro Theater. You don't have to ask me twice. You're fighting an upward battle. Solidarity. Diversity and inclusion. Lesbian, bisexual, queer. It's like this huge ecosystem. That's the gayest thing I have ever been to. Community. 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 Lesbians, que que? Oh my god, there's other lesbians that check. <laughs> oh, that'll be five people. <laughs> I really was genuinely surprised at first, though. I sort of thought, oh, there are going to be 10 people there? <laughs> I thought it would be like 80 really irritating lesbians in a room, like yammering on about JavaScript or something like that. <laughs> well, I always knew there were lesbians who tech. Two years ago, we had a happy hour in San Francisco, and 40 people showed up to our first event. By the third one, we had over 100 people. Wow, uh, we have a critical mass. And there was this buzz, this electricity, and this capability, and this match to what's needed. Seven ticket sales, 10 ticket sales, and then we ended up selling out the venue. And I get to this, this theater, and it was full of lesbians. Like, it was fascinating. I could not tell you how blown away I was. I, I mean, I still, I like, I get goosebumps about it. I had no idea that 800 people would show up and that I'd walk out into the Castro Theater and there would be like a packed house of queer women in technology who were just hungry for not only the community, but to connect over something they loved, which is technology. To have your own mafia, to have your own clique where you can tell the real deal with each other and really help each other move along, I think is very empowering. My heart kind of like skipped a beat. I mean, the energy was amazing. It's like having these women there, all of them, in this huge theater. I mean, you were there, you, you felt the energy. It was like crazy. Everybody just wants to share what they're working on and what they're passionate about. And where else can you find places like this? And then this crazy thing happened where people, you know, in other cities, in other countries, um, started emailing me. Let's do something in Austin. Let's do something in Seattle. LA, great. London, why not? Lesbian Zoo Tech last year literally changed my life and the whole story of our company. Our user base doubled in the space of like two days and then doubled again in two weeks. We had offers of investment. Before I found the Lesbian Zoo Tech community, I had no positive queer women influence. I have friends all over the country and all over the world now. I would not have met any of them if it wasn't for Lesbian Zoo Tech. We share the common experience of coming to terms with who we are and celebrating that. It was a group that did not look all the same, uh, which is exciting anywhere I go. You're hitting women and men, you're hitting all kinds of cultures and ethnicities. To have this group who's working on, you know, getting more representation for community that I support, that I'm a part of, and that all this activity was happening and I didn't even know about it, all this great work, I was flabbergasted in, in the best way possible. Lesbian technologists paid an awesome posse who were making better products, making better decisions. This is the new generation, this is new leadership. It just felt like, I don't have to worry. We're gonna be fine. Knowing that they existed helped you feel confident to know that you can be a part of the future. It felt really empowering. The beginning of something that I think will get bigger and bigger. We have made strides, but we're not done. Being here to me means bringing about a world in which a young woman can grow up thinking, I can do that too. Lesbians and women need to be in technology. We need to be the driving force behind a lot of things. It's just deeply fulfilling to see so many lesbians actually in the sector and really have the next generation of lesbians see role models and have people they can meet and not feel so alone. Successful startups have twice as many women in senior roles than unsuccessful companies. I want to be a part of this movement of getting more women in tech. It's so important. And lesbians, we just, we run things, so. <laughs>